use the tools you know to start your speech research. Chances are your informative speech assignment isn't your first research project. You've probably seen your share of research project assignments, and most of them look a little like this. You pick a topic, have to use a certain number of sources, then give a 5-7 to seven minute speech or write a 5-7 to seven page paper. The challenge, of course, is getting from point A, picking your topic, to point B, your final research project, all while including those outside sources. This tutorial will provide you with a framework for identifying a manageable topic, developing a research question, and using Wikipedia and Google to create a research outline that will make the journey from A to B easier. Let's start with selecting a topic. Your assignment might provide guidelines for topic selection. Take a moment to review your assignment. Are there topics you cannot pick, like the legalization of marijuana or gun control? Is there a theme you should consider, such as civic engagement or a cultural artifact? And does your instructor need to approve your topic before you begin your research? Generally, you can begin your topic selection process broadly by starting with a noun, a person, a place, or a thing. Remember to pick something that's interesting to you. You have a topic now, but you're not ready to start finding your sources quite yet. Your next step is to focus your topic by considering something specific that you want to say or learn about the subject. One way to do this is to start with a Google search. The search results can provide you with some helpful information like synonyms or other names for your topic and interesting subtopics that you hadn't considered. Any background information you find can give you a broader perspective and help you figure out if your topic is too broad, too narrow, or whether it is even researchable to begin with. A convenient place to start is with the Wikipedia article on your topic. Wikipedia will not be a source you cite in your speech, but instead can give you an excellent overview of the size and scope of your topic. First, look at the content box. How many sections are there? You will likely want to focus your research on just one facet of your topic. Remember, you only have five to seven minutes for your speech. You can't include everything in that amount of time, nor do you want to. If you are giving a speech on a person, you probably do not want to provide an entire biography of that individual. Similarly, with other topics, avoid the impulse to cover the subject comprehensively. By limiting your topic, you will make your research easier, you'll avoid having a speech that is too long, and your speech will be more engaging to your audience. Your unfocused topic may begin with effects of or benefits of. These keywords, underlined here, can make research easier by helping to unlock the organizational pattern of your speech. When you turn your topic into a question, you may find that the research process becomes easier. Why is this? Well, research is about inquiry. We do research because we're looking for answers. When you do a Google search asking, what time does the movie start? Or, where can I get my oil changed? You are doing research, and Google is providing you with some potential answers. Each potential answer may require additional research. Will the 7 o'clock movie be too crowded? Is the auto shop open on Sunday? Take the same approach with your speech topic. Ask a question that actually interests you. What are you curious about? What do you want to learn more about? What will entertain or educate your audience? Finally, it's time to look for some answers. The potential answers to your speech research question can come from anywhere, from brainstorming, from your classmates, from your background research, and even from Google. You should aim to identify about three to five potential answers to your question. Some of your answers may come from sources you want to cite in your speech. Be sure to keep track of your sources and evaluate them for currency, relevance, accuracy, authority, and purpose. So now you have a question, and you have several potential answers. Now what? Well, now you have a framework for completing the rest of your research. Each of your potential questions will now require some additional research especially if your answers did not come from outside sources. Use books, articles, and more to expand your knowledge on this topic, develop additional questions, and identify more answers. While you are moving from point A, your topic, to point B, your researched speech, you may get sidetracked. You may change direction. You may even end up back at point A. Don't worry, this is all part of the process. Explore, be curious, 
learn something new and interesting, and then share it with your audience. For more information on doing speech research, visit the Library Speech Research Guide at codlrc.org speech. Do you have questions about your research project? Don't struggle. Ask a librarian. Visit codlrc.org ask for all the ways you can get in touch with a librarian, including reference appointments, chat, and even texting. Oh, oh, oh.